Mic check, mic check. Good on sound. All right. Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning. As you can see, the graduates are about to begin their procession. So we just wanted to welcome you here and ask uh, everyone to please, during the ceremony, to silence your cell phones. So if you haven't done that yet, please silence your cell phones. We are recording this. We are live streaming this. So we want to make sure that everything that is said and done today is recorded and looks great. So we're going to start in a few moments. Just like to say thank you for coming and welcome. And uh, the graduates are a little nervous. So if you can all just scream at the top of your lungs so they can hear you on the count of three and, and then we'll start a ceremony in a couple minutes. Ready? One, two, three. All right. We'll get started in just a few moments.
Good morning and welcome, distinguished guests, faculty, students, parents, families, alumni and friends, and especially the graduating class of 2022 to St. Pius X, St. Matthias Academy. Today is a beautiful day, right? Today we celebrate the graduating class of 2022. At this time, I'd like to call our outgoing Associated Student Body President, Ms. Michaela Alvarez, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing at this time. We call upon graduate Leo Suarez to lead us in the national anthem. You may be seated. As may have seen in today's graduation program, it's now time for the principal to address our graduates. Unfortunately, our principal, Mrs. Ozaya, had to quarantine and cannot be with us today. However, she has sent some thoughts to share with you that I will now present on her behalf. Dear class of 2022, although there is no place I would rather be than with you in person today, please know that I am here in spirit and through prayer on this very special occasion. What an accomplishment this ceremony represents. Four years of hard work and dedication, sacrifices made by you and your families, successes and failures, laughter and tears, all are a part of the fabric of who you are and all that you will become. At this time, we'd like to ask all parents or parent figures to please stand. All parents, please stand. We'd like to give all parents and recognize all parents for the sacrifices you made. So graduates, let's give it up for your parents and just let them know how much this means to you. So thank you parents for making today possible for the class of 2022. You may be seated. You have contributed to the lives of these incredible young men and women, and today is also a celebration for you. As St. Paul, as St. Pope John Paul II said, let us remember the past with gratitude, live the present with enthusiasm, and look forward to the future with confidence. I know there are wonderful things in store for all of you. My hope is that you look back fondly and come back often. As you know by now, my door is always open. Whether you came to PMA as a freshman or as 
Recently, as this year, we are one warrior family, and I hold each of you in my heart forever. This place will always be your home. Once a warrior, always a warrior. Let's give Mrs. Ozaya a round of applause. At this time, I would like to welcome the valedictorian of the class 2022. This young man represents the graduate who has earned the highest overall GPA and ranking in the graduating class with a cumulative grade point average of 4.7. This fall, he will attend the University of Southern California and has earned a fully funded college education as he was selected as one of the 300 Gates Scholars in the nation. Please join me in welcoming the 2022 valedictorian, Mr. Hector Espinosa. Good morning, President Dr. DeLarkin, Principal Zazaya, from home, amazing teachers and staff, loving parents, and Class 2022. It is an honor to speak on behalf of the class with the best personality, the Class of 2022! So the thing about writing your speech like a week before is that when you write it, it's sunny, and you're talking about how sunny it is today, but um, it's, it's cloudy. But you know what, I like cloudy days and the best thing about cloudy days is that the next day, it's shiny, it's hopeful. So right now, it's even better that it's cloudy because it represents that right now, what we're celebrating is great, but what's coming next is even better. <laughs> Nonetheless, it is such a beautiful day today. Not because the weather is perfect, that's what was originally said, or because we are all so good looking. But because today, we celebrate four years of our lives' hard work and dedication. Today, we receive a piece of paper that we have been longing for so long. But no piece of paper will ever be able to communicate this feeling today. No paper will ever show the last four years that we experienced together. Well, two, because of COVID. But if you really think about it, just one, because freshman year doesn't count. <laughs> um, but anyways, we are finally here. Of course, we did not get here alone. I would, like to, I would like to first appreciate and give a round of applause to our amazing teachers. They are truly the best of the best. When I look back on my high school experience, I remember freshman year when biology facts were being yelled at me. It was terrifying because he was the head football coach and he was just yelling at me biology facts. But hey, it was very effective memorization. I remember receiving the cutest stickers sophomore year I, never was, I was never able to fill out the card, but I still have my sticker card from theology under my bed because it represents all the love that my teachers have for me. Um, oh, and then the Zoom years. Our teachers indubitably adapted to the flabbergasting situation. I remember the nap breaks, I mean the Zoom breaks. They were the best. And then our last year. I loved all of my teachers my senior year because I was able to experience once again the profound relationships with my teachers. Although the world is burning, both literally and figuratively, they were and are beacons of hope that we as a country can guide the world to safety and prosperity once again. I just want to say, we are truly best. You guys know that, right? We had the opportunity to experience the best part of high school, senior year, the year where we appreciate each other more deeply because we know that we will most likely not see each other again. We are truly blessed to be even standing here with, with each other. Just a brief reminder of what is going on in the world. We survived the peak of the pandemic. We are currently witnessing a 13-week Russian invasion of Ukraine and are constantly at the dangerous hands of those with firearms, as we are unfortunately reminded too often, as seen in the Buffalo Massacre and in Uvalde. This leads me to want to express our gratitude to God. It is because of God that we are here today. It is because we are here that we must fulfill our responsibility to make things better. As young adults, it is our responsibility to ensure that today's worries are only today's worries, not tomorrow's. It is our responsibility to mobilize our country to shift to better renewable energy, nuclear energy. 
It is our responsibility to actually be the free world that we claim to be by welcoming immigrants to a brighter tomorrow. We need to show global forces that we can no longer push around other countries as they wish, a standard we must hold ourselves accountable to as well. It is our responsibility, so many responsibilities, to make the much needed reform to restrict easy gun access so that we do not have, have to witness a horror every weekend. We must trust that God will empower us to solve our dangers, but we must be brave enough to realize them. We must be grateful to God by showing that we can solve today's problems. While we express our gratitude to God for all of our blessings, I would like to ask him to be with and help those who have and are suffering. After today, life awaits. I know that some of us are indifferent about it. Some can't wait to leave and live exciting lives, but also know that some, and if we're being honest, most, are terrified of what comes next. Truth of the matter is, what comes next is terrifying. We don't really know what comes next. Sure, we know we're going to college or something like that, but we don't know what's going to happen in college. But despite of all these uncertainties, I believe that we will be fine. We will be fine because we have the tools necessary to achieve overall success in life. I believe that the greatest lesson that PMA has taught us was through Kairos. I will not try to give too many details because our amazing junior guard is here, but my Kairos experience was wonderful. PMA taught me that it is possible to be in an environment where we can fully appreciate and love each other. And when things are going wrong in life, Kairos taught us that it is okay to ask for help. It is okay to be vulnerable, to share, and embrace our pain with others so we may be able not to only grow past it, but learn from it. Kairos is definitely the determining factor that unifies the seniors at PMA. It is because of Kairos that we can show the world what it means to live the fourth as PMA warriors. The path to success is difficult and there will be times where we will fail, but we must find our ways to learn from our failures until we get it right. I can't wait to hear about all of your successes. I can't wait to hear that Lila Johnson saved the US president's life in an intensive heart surgery. I can't wait to hear that lead DEA agent Aaron Calderon has defeated public enemy number one through conclusive evidence. I can't wait to hear that Paul Rodas has opened 5,000 shoe stores nationwide and using all of his profits for philanthropic purposes. I can't wait to hear about all of your successes. It just saddens me that I won't be able to directly witness all of your achievements, but will probably only hear from them. I hope also that my PMA brothers and sisters are happy with their lives, not only because of their achievements, but mainly because they enjoy what they do and are at peace with their lives. I mean this with my whole heart. I wish nothing but the best for you guys, and it would hurt my soul to learn that my fellow brothers and sisters have lost their way in life. If you guys do not mind, I would like to speak to my parents directly from here before I wrap up my speech. Hola pa, hola ma. Nomás les quería decir que muchas gracias por todo el apoyo que me han dado. No lo hubiera hecho sin ustedes. Lo hicimos. No lo hice. Lo hicimos. Los quiero un ching. Los quiero mucho. <laughs> um, los, los quiero mucho. Sé que soy difícil, pero los quiero mucho y su apoyo me han ayudado con todo. Y les prometo que este logro va a ser uno de los muchos logros que les voy a traer. Ojalá este logro sea pequeño en comparación con los logros que les voy a traer. Les estaba diciendo a mis compañeros que lo que nos espera es escalofriante, pero que todo va a ser bien. Hay que ser optimistas. Gracias por todo. Hoy tengo hambre. <laughs> These are our last moments together as a class. It's crazy to think that I've been waiting for this day for so long, but now I'm finding myself trying to stretch one moment out to into a thousand, so that I may be able to appreciate us in our entirety. I would like to thank you all for making my high school experience the best I could have asked for, given the circumstances, but nonetheless, the best I could have ever asked for. Although we may be leaving warrior land, we will not be leaving each other, for we will carry each other forever in our thoughts and actions. Here is to the future, here is to us. Go Warriors! Thank you, Hector, for your thoughtful remarks. We will now share a few special recognitions for our seniors. Last night at our baccalaureate mass and award ceremony, we recognized the many talents and accomplishments of our graduates. Today, we continue in that spirit and will award our school's most, most outstanding awards. 
First, we'll start with the Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. The Scholar Athlete Award recognizes two students this year that achieved a high GPA while playing in many sports and having achieved honors in any of those sports and have, ex have excelled and shine among their peers. The recipients for this year's Scholar Athlete of the Year Award are, and you can come to the stage, Hector Alfredo Rivas III and Mia Yareli Romero. Congratulations. The Athlete of the Year Award recognizes two students with outstanding commitment to team sports. Their names will be engraved on a perpetual plaque and displayed in the showcase in the entrance of the school. I'm proud to... Congratulations. The Warrior Award is given to two seniors who have demonstrated outstanding citizenship at St. Pius X, St. Matthias Academy. It is my honor to present the 2022 St. Pius X, St. Matthias Academy Warrior Award to both Paul Rodas and Lauren Fernandez. Congratulations. The Spirit Award is given to the senior who has been a loyal supporter of St. Pius X, St. Matthias Academy activities and athletics, and who has inspired others by their example. This award is this is being awarded to two seniors this year, and it is my honor to present the 2022 Spirit Award to Michaela Alvarez and Samuel Casillas. Congratulations. The Alma Mater Award is given to two seniors who define overall excellence. The recipients must have excelled academically, been involved in extracurricular activities, and been true leaders among their peers. It is my pleasure to present the 2022 Alma Mater Award to both Hector Espinosa and Maite Angeles Flores.
Congratulations. The Principal's Leadership Award recognizes outstanding student leadership through action and example within the St. Pius X St. Matthias Academy and his or her community. It is my pleasure to present the 2022 Principal's Leadership Award to both Isaac Villarreal and Layla Johnson. Congratulations. We're proud to recognize that the graduates in the class of 2022 were accepted to some of the best colleges and universities in our country, as is listed in today's program. We also would like to recognize graduates who not only got accepted to college, but earned special merit scholarships and or acceptances to some of the most competitive programs in the nation. When I call your name, Please stand and remain standing. Michaela Alvarez for earning the Summit Scholarship to the University of Oregon. Maite Angeles Flores for earning acceptance to the Program for Excellence in Education and Research in Sciences at UCLA. Samuel Casillas for earning an Athletic Scholarship to attend McAllister College. Hector Espinosa for earning a Gates Scholarship, which covers full tuition to attend USC. Layla Johnson for earning a full scholarship to Rice University. Joseph Lara for earning the UCLA Regents Scholarship, representing one of the highest honors awarded to a student at the university and is only awarded to 40 incoming freshmen. Tyler Miller for earning a Merit Scholarship and grants to cover full tuition to attend the University of Utah and Hector Rivas for earning a Posse Scholarship, which is full tuition scholarship to attend Dickinson College. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Next, we are honored to welcome Mr. Raul Salinas, our 2022 commencement speaker. Raul Salinas, graduated from Pius X in 1978 and attended Loyola Marymount University. He graduated from LMU four years later with a degree in business administration before enrolling at Georgetown University Law Center in Washington, DC. While in law school, Raul focused on litigation by spending his summer working at the California Supreme Court, serving as student advocate for Georgetown's appellate litigation clinic and earning a spot on the school's national moot court team, which is like debate, but in law school. After law school, Raul worked for several law firms, including a large international law firm that sent him to Japan to handle a major pharmaceutical dispute, and to Buenos Aires, Argentina, to handle an investment deal involving Coca-Cola. Raul left that law firm to help start one of the first Latino-owned business law firms in 1996 now known as Alvarado Smith. For the past 25 years, major corporations like Wells Fargo, Bank, Kaiser Permanente, Verizon, Shell Oil, and other large corporations have retained Paul, um, Raul, sorry, Raul, to handle complicated business, regulatory, and employment matters. Raul's reach also extends to Washington, D.C., where he represents the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, which represents more than 4.4 million Hispanic-owned businesses across our country. If you are a Hispanic business owner, then Raul is representing you in our nation's capital. Raul also represents several international corporations based in Mexico, such as Sucarne, Omnilife, University of Guadalajara, and many others. Raul is a man with a major effect in this world and comes from humble beginnings. He was born in Watts, and attended St. Lawrence before his family moved to Southgate and he enrolled at St. Emedius. 
Raul particularly is, is particularly proud of the opportunity to return to his community of Southgate and serve as the top attorney representing the city in its legal matters. He was able to recover $8.65 million on behalf of the city, which was money the city used to help build the Asalia Shopping Center that brought major stores and restaurants to the city. Raul attributed, attributes his success as a lawyer to the Catholic education he received and the notion that you can do well in life by serving others. He has volunteered a lot of his time to community organizations and has served on the boards of numerous nonprofit organizations, such as John Hopkins University, White Memorial Medical Center, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Los Angeles, the Catholic Community Foundation of Los Angeles, and many others, including our PMA Advisory Board. He's been awarded for much of his accomplishments. Some of his awards are 11 consecutive years selected as, the, as a super lawyer in employment law, the Humanitarian Award by Holland, Hollenbeck Police uh, Activities League, 10th Anniversary Award recipient for the University of Guadalajara, the Adelante Award, Los Angeles Latino Chamber of Commerce, Executive Volunteer of the Year, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Los Angeles, Hall of Fame, California Minority Council Program, Top 100 Influentials, Hispanic Business Magazine, Local Hero Award, KCET Public Television, and many, many more. Raul resides in Pasadena and is married to Maria Salinas, and they have four children. Two sons graduated last year from college. One earned a degree in computer engineering from Stanford University, and the other son earned a similar degree from MIT. Two others are currently attending Santa Clara University and Loyola Marymount University and will be juniors. I met Raul last summer and was immediately struck by his humility, his passion for education, and his love for what we are doing here at PMA. So today I'm honored to introduce our 2022 commencement speaker, Mr. Raul F. Salinas. Thank you, Christian, for that introduction. And uh, good morning to you, Christian, to Principal Veronica Zuzayo, the faculty, the staff here at Pius Matthias Academy. I want to also recognize the advisory board chair, Diane Martinez, my colleague from the class of 78, as well as the members from the class of 1972. I want to recognize also and say good morning to the parents, the uncles, the aunts, the brothers, the sisters, every cat and every dog, and anyone who played a role in getting these students to the finish line. And let me be among also the first to congratulate the class of 2022. Congratulations, felicidades. What an accomplishment. What an accomplishment. Take a deep breath, class of 2022. I want you to savor this moment. You did it. It's done. And thank you for inviting me to be a part of this wonderful uh, occasion. I am joined here by my wife, Maria, and two of my sons, Alejandro and Gabriel. And I'm also joined here by my mom, who's 91 years of age. And ladies, she is still wearing high heels on this grass today. My, uh, my remarks today uh, come in four parts. Uh, I'm going to talk in part one about how, despite our age differential, I share a lot of commonality with this class of 2022. In part two, I'm going to talk about you, the class of 2022. What makes you so special in history? In part three, I have a message for your parents. I'm going to deliver it in Spanish and in English. And I hope, class of 2022, you're going to owe me afterwards for that talk. And then finally, in part four, I'm going to talk to you about this word called why. Why? So 44 years ago, 1978, I was sitting in the same spot that you were sitting in. 1978 to 1922, 44 years ago. Let me just say the obvious. 
that if someone had told me that I was going to be listening to someone that graduated 44 years before 1978, which would be in 1934, I would have said, what does that dude have to say? What is a connection? <laughs> what is he doing here? Well, let me make that case for you. You know, my parents came from a ranch community in the great state of Zacatecas, Mexico. They only had a sixth grade education, and that education is where kids through, from first grade to sixth grade, they're all in the same room. They're all taught together. And I didn't come from a family of bankers or doctors or lawyers or anyone that wore a shirt and a tie to work, and neither did my aunts or uncles or any of my cousins. My dad worked uh, for a foundry, and my mom, who got a job in 1965, worked at an assembly plant, continued to work in that job until 2020 at the age of 89. They're hard working people and they worked multiple jobs because they valued the Catholic education and they made sure that we got one. And my parents stressed the value of education. Maybe, probably, because they didn't have the same opportunities in Mexico as we have here today. And so they stressed the importance of working hard and learning to be our best. And I bet that familiar story applies to many of you here today. I'll tell you, just a week ago today, I was in Boston. My wife, Marie, and I and our kids had gone to attend my son Nicholas's graduation at MIT. And, and my dad would have been 100 uh, if he had lived at that, to that age. And actually, today, uh, is his anniversary of his passing nine years ago. But I reflected on how it took a hundred years to go from the state of Zacatecas, that farming community, to the great halls of MIT. And I think but for my parents' earlier decision, my children would not have had that opportunity. And I suspect that many of you here, the class of 22, can tell a similar story there. So, well, I, I bet that our paths have been similar. They're not the same. And this is what takes me to part two. What is it that makes your class so great in history? Now, we know that your four years of high school came in a great period of change. I want you to remember the word disruption because your path in high school has been about navigating disruption. The last four years have been marked by tremendous uncertainty. You've been tested. You've navigated the unknown. You've learned to pivot, and you were forced to adapt, and you did. I would say to you that never, never, has so much been asked of a generation of students as we have asked of you. And while you're ending this high school year, much like you started that freshman year, it was those middle years, those Zoom years, as someone said, your sophomore and your junior years that must have seemed so distant, so difficult, so demanding. And it's like the world came to a screeching halt. And it paused, almost like a new beginning. And then the world started rotating again, only rapidly. In the four years that you've been here in high school, it feels like the world aged by 10. We went from watching people on TV to being those people on TV. Zoom this, zoom that, virtual everything, even fake fans in the stands of professional sports. We tried to pretend everything was normal. But things were not normal, and things are still not normal. But here's the thing, class of 2022. 
it's okay for things not to be normal because not being normal brings change. And with change comes two things, opportunity and uncertainty. And so the key for you will be to maximize that opportunity and to minimize that uncertainty. And I think that's where your experience at this institution, Pius Matthias Academy, will serve you well. You might not fully understand it. I know I did not. But the fact is that the values that you uh, will develop in the future are seated in you right now. Those values, they're going to be tested. They're going to be questioned. They're going to be challenged. But those values will be forever inside of you, and they're forged in what you have learned here at PMA. Because nothing could have prepared you for what it must have been like. For as much as we were connected, as we were by phone, or Zoom, or via text, or on social media, we learned that there is no substitute for in-person relationships. We need to support you because not everyone made it through OK. But we all need your strength. Oh, yeah, we definitely need you. This moment in time needs you. And you can and will shape the world we all want to live in. We need you in medicine to bring care and compassion to the communities. We need you in engineering to build sustainable homes, including homes for those that are not sheltered. We need you in education to shape and inspire the young minds so that they can see a world of possibilities. We need you in government so that you can advance policies that are equitable and just for all members of the community. We need you in business, in the corporate world, or as entrepreneurs so that you can bring this spirit of innovation and create jobs that will sustain livelihoods. We need you in technology because technology will save the environment and will address climate change. And we need you in communication because we all have a story to share, a community to reach out to. We need you in mental health because if COVID taught us anything, it is that there are frailties in life that need mending. And of course, we need you in law to advocate for those that don't have a voice. But I would say to you, class of 2022, most of all, we just need you to be happy, to be passionate about what you do, because there are no limits to what you can accomplish when those two meet up, happy and passionate, when they meet up and go to town. Your generation will be one of outliers. What's an outlier? An outlier is a person who strays away from anything that is not a part of the norm. Among you, we may find another famous teenager like Steve Jobs, the founder of all things Apple, or like Congresswoman Alejandro Ocasio-Cortez, who worked as a waitress before getting into politics, or my own wife, Maria Salinas, who became the president and the CEO of the Los Angeles area Chamber of Commerce, the first woman, the first Latina in that history, that chamber's 120 year history, the first woman in a hundred year history. Thank you. I'm gonna get brownie credit for that tonight, I think. And as, as we figure out these aftershocks from this earthquake that we call COVID, your generation will be the one to lead us through this change that we have never quite experienced before. Now let me get to part three, and this is a message to the parents. Let me pause and congratulate them first in Spanish. 
Permítanme también hacer una pausa y felicitar a los padres. Porque durante los 18 años, ustedes como yo han pensado en el día de hoy preguntándonos si nuestros hijos iban a graduar de la escuela preparatoria y si lograrían ir a la universidad. Pensamos que este día nunca llegaría. Y ahora que está aquí, creemos que llegó muy pronto. Y a lo largo de los años, empujamos y empujamos sin saber realmente si estamos empujándolos hacia adelante o si estamos empujándolos al precipicio. Y les digo aquí, esta es la prueba que están aquí. Trabajo bien hecho a todos los padres. Pero, pero después de hoy, déjenlos volar. Déjenlos que extiendan sus alas. Porque si los dejan viajar por todas las partes, exploran la razón por cual están en este mundo. Conocerán, conocerán gente que nunca han conocido. Hablarán con personas que piensan y se ven diferentes de ellos. Verán al final que sus hijos van a abrir puertas que no conocían y construir puentes que no existían. Encontrar soluciones para mejorar la comunidad y al final vivir una vida llena de propósito y felicidad. ¿Qué es lo que nosotros como padres hemos querido desde que nacieron? Nada más y nada menos. For the last 18 years, you, like me, have thought about today. We wondered whether our children would graduate from high school and would they go to college. We thought this day would never come, and now that it is here, we think that it has come too soon. Over the years, we pushed and we pushed, not really knowing if we were pushing them forward or if we were pushing him over the cliff. And I say to you, the proof is here and your job is well done. But after today, let them go. Let them spread their wings. Let them travel far and wide. Explore why they were placed on this earth. Meet people they have never met. Talk with people who think and look differently than they do. Then you will see in the end that your son or daughter will open doors and opportunities that they had not known, build bridges where none existed, find solutions to improve the quality of life, and in the end, live a life that's been filled with purpose and happiness, which is what we as parents have wanted since the day they were born. Nothing more and nothing less, and I say amen to that. This is, uh, now brings us to part four, and this is my, my parting words to the class of 2022. You know, Mark Twain once said that the two most important days in your life are the day that you were born and the day that you found out why. We all know when you were born, you just may not know why, meaning what is it that you were meant to do here on earth? But to find out that why, you first have to figure out the who. Who are you? Who will you be? Most of you will be pursuing, pursuing higher education this fall, trade tech, community college, a university. Some of you will take a break and pick it up sometime later, and that's all, okay. that's all good, I say to you. But for those of you going to college, I will say, You have to lose yourself in college to find yourself. You have to be focused and intentional. You have to lay it on the line. You have to st study harder than you ever did. And I would say to you, you have to play harder than you ever have because, because not all learning comes from books. You have to put yourself in the unexpected And you have to get used to being comfortable with the uncomfortable. And you have to act like you belong because in the end, you do belong. 
Why? Why? Because college is a time for exploration about yourself and your major field of study and, and to listen to what your heart is saying. Yes, you might fall along this journey because at some point we all fall. But failure, failure is good for the soul. Failure is inspiration. Because in those moments of doubt, we will remember that we have come too far to quit. That our parents and their parents and their parents' parents sacrificed too much. That if only we keep moving forward, eventually we will get to that spot where, where we begin to hear that inner noble voice that's within us to tell us why. Why is it that we were put here on earth? So to the class of 2022, I say to you, go forth and find that purpose in life. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank Raul for his, uh, his um, words today and we'd like to welcome him in, and to the first ever commencement speaker family uh, with a nice plaque. So let's give him a round of applause. Now I'd like to invite from the Archdiocese of Los Angeles Department of Catholic Schools, Dr. Thomas Gasper, who serves as Regional Superintendent of the San Pedro Region for the Department of Catholic Schools for the Los Angeles Archdiocese. To the podium to lead the next part of today's ceremony. Good morning, it is a privilege to be with all of you to celebrate here at St. Pius X, Messiah, Matthias Academy celebrate the great accomplishments of these graduating seniors. On behalf of Archbishop Jose Gomez, Superintendent Paula Scala, and all of my colleagues at the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, I want to convey to you graduates how proud we are of your accomplishments in getting to this place today. You have each shown great commitment and resilience to navigate all of the expectations from this school, all of the challenges of the last four years, particularly during a global pandemic. And while you will face uh, uncertain new challenges ahead, I want to just reassure you that God's unconditional love will be there with you to guide you and support you in your journey ahead. I want to recognize the incredible dedication uh, efforts of the administration, faculty, staff of PMA. Um, they have too faced their own challenges and have put those beside them to focus on the priority of you, the students of PMA. And I want to thank you for your incredible examples of faith and service to them. Finally, I want to thank the parents, guardians, and family members who made sacrifices and commitment to provide a, a quality Catholic education to these young men and women. They are poised to go out into the world uh, to do great things, but it would not have been possible without the first support and primary care of all of you. And now the moment we've all been waiting for we will now confer these diplomas. It is with great pride and joy that we present to you the following students who have successfully completed the requirements for high school graduation as set forth by the State of California's Department of Education and the Department of Catholic Schools of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. All right, first row, you're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay. Hector Espinosa.
Joseph Lara. Isaac Villarreal. Anthony Jeremiah Aguilar. Michaela Alvarez. Maite Angeles Flores. Rihanna Julissa Anguiano. Yaretsi Gisau Araujo. Melissa Valdison. Isabella Armendaris. Raymond Cano. Jeff Brown the third. Hernan Isaiah Castillo. Samuel David Casillas. Joshua Contreras. Isabel Ceja. Aaron Davila Calderon. Damian Corona. Lauren Alexandra Fernandez. Eduardo Blas Espinosa. Maximiliano Matthew Gonzalez. Ernesto Mauricio Facio. Daniel Gutierrez. Myrna Alejandra Flores Avila. Carlos Herrera. Amir Grant. Caitlin Lizette Luna. Emily Guzman. Andy Marine Roque. Layla Serena Johnson. Sadie Elise Martinez. Nicholas Larios. Emma Susana Medina Hernandez. Adrian Madrid. Jade Mendez Avila. Dennis Martinez. Rebecca Mesa. Jermel McKnight. Kimberly Morales. Yasmin Liliana Medina. Devin Isaac Orozco. Carlos Mendoza. Arle Perez Gomez. Tyler Miller. Oh 
Juan Ramírez. Joe Rodriguez. Jaden Steven Ramirez. Ricardo Rafael Orduño. Noemi Graciela Ramirez. Rebecca Eileen Perez. Camila Asisa Rivera Rodriguez. Abel Alexander Ramirez. Mia Yareli Romero. Hector Rivas the third. Alejandra Ruiz Rojas. Paul Elijah Rodas. Alexandra Natalie Shaper. Eric Manuel Roman Jimenez. Jaden Alexander Soto. Max Reese. Leo Joaquin Suarez. Ethan Marco Sines. Amber Trevino. Brandon Soto. Andrea Carolina Vasquez. Cameron David Nathan Spencer. Nehemiah Edward Williams. Russell Christopher Zerlip. Neda Zamora. Janelle Valdez. At this time, I invite senior class president, Ms. Emily Guzman, to please come forward. Class of 2022 graduates, please stand. Class of 2022, to signify your graduation from high school, Graduates, please transfer your tassel from right to left. At this time, I'd like to invite Father Solomon, Associate Pastor to St. Raymond uh, Parish down the street to lead us in our benediction. You can have a seat, graduates. There you go. So thank you, everyone, and uh, congratulations to the graduates. Wonderful, and God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 
gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation, love in the bonds of friendship they have formed, and the grace to rely on you in all things in their future journey. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Empower them to work into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to, in the words of St. Pius X, to restore all things in Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father Solomon. Graduates, in a few moments, you will enter the alumni family, and you will forever hold the title of warrior alumni. I'd like to ask all alum from any previous graduating class of Pius X, St. Matthias, or PMA who are present today to please stand. Graduates, you are now a part of a strong network of alumni who, to whom you will forever be connected. These alumni standing will support you. They may offer you jobs, internships, or a helping hand in times of difficulty. We send a special invite to alumni who are celebrating their golden jubilee this year, which marks 50 years since they have graduated from high school. Will the class of 1972 Please wave, and let's give them all a round of applause for being here today. They wanted to be here to attend your graduation in person to officially induct you into the alumni family. They will line the middle of the aisle to congratulate you as you process out. We are excited to see what you do in this world, Warrior Alumni. Romans 12, verse 2 speaks well to this moment. Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Today, we bid you farewell, but don't let this be the last time you are here. Never forget that PMA will always be your home. We look forward to seeing you back on campus, whether it's in 50 years to attend a graduation, whether it be to cheer on a team, for an alumni reunion, to visit your favorite teacher, to enroll your son or daughter as a freshman, or to give your first donation to build the program or the building or athletic facility you always dreamed you had on this campus for future warriors. Today is not only a milestone for you as individuals, it is one for our school community. Now graduates, for the first time, I ask you to please stand as alumni of St. Pius X, St. Matthias Academy. Congratulations to you, and may God continue to bless you and your loved ones in all of your future endeavors. Thank you everyone for coming today to celebrate with us. The ceremony has now concluded. Okay. I was gonna, I was like, oh my God, I hope it's okay, we're gonna...